previously on Comics and Stuff. And there is one company that seems to be getting it right. A standout from the rest. I mean, there is this Teeny Tiny's refrigerator set that I think is pretty cool. And again, made by Teeny Tiny's, this isn't the end, guys. We are far from over. In fact, this, this is just the beginning. You could say that again. What's up guys, my name is Ron from Comics and Stuff and welcome to the second episode in this series dealing with 5 Below accessories. If you haven't seen the first episode, go give that a watch guys because what we're basically doing is going through any accessories slash diorama pieces slash vehicles that work well for your action figures that you can find at 5 Below. Now there is a star to these episodes, that being Teeny Tiny's, I mean their sets just work great. But before going through any of their sets, we will showcase something that's not necessarily teeny tiny that you could find at 5 below. So with that being said, our first set is the grilling and chilling set. And our first showcase will be from surprise, surprise. It's Zoe again, guys. This time it's the kayak adventure, which brings a Zoe doll, a kayak, an oar, and a swim tube. Now my main hopes was that this kayak would fit smaller G.I. Joe figures like Lady J right there, but unfortunately it does not. But that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work for any figures, because in fact, it works kind of perfectly. Let's put it right here, all seated up, for these little armory Figma figures. I mean, Lana fits in it just great as well, so it doesn't have to be little armory, but none of it is painted, I will point that out. It's just plastic right here. We got some tan plastic, some brown plastic, some black plastic to simulate some rope. And of course, a little bit of that tan plastic there. There is sculpt and everything like that. I do think it's well sized for Figmas. And if you're wondering about the inside, yeah, they got some sculpt for a seat. It does have that waist holder that the scooter had in the last episode. And the ore right here, no paint or anything, basic skull, but she holds it pretty dang well. But you might want something that's more suited for Marvel Legends and all that, and G.I. Joe's. And that's where the swim tube comes in. And you could tell that slender figures like Lady Deadpool right here is not a problem. You could have her make believing she's going to the beach. It's basic sculpt, just a ring and the paint though does not connect but that's only in the inside in the outside it does it is what it is this looks okay and if you don't want it on a figure you could just have it hanging up as a wall decoration for your dioramas and all of that so i'm not too mad at it and i'm not too mad with this kayak but now that we went through the whole little showcase let's get into this set because from the last episode duke has taken control of deadpool's food truck and he's now opened up shop. And we all know that G.I. Joe is a real American hero. And there's nothing more American than some burger and fries. So that's exactly what we got here. What Snake Eyes is holding is a little ice cream. It does have some scope in case you guys want to see. That's beige plastic with white paint on top for the ice cream itself. Does the job and I think it looks rather good. Yeah, looks rather good right there. Next up, we are keeping it with the cold stuff. Over here, we got a Frosty. There is a sticker right there on top. Some white paint right there for the spoon. And it is rather convincing. You do see that it says freeze. I don't know if you guys could catch it, but it does say it. So that looks good. Over here, we got some soda which again, same formula, sticker for the cup, little paint for the straw. Not well painted, but that is typical with your teeny tiny sets. Over here, we got a plate of, what do you think this is guys? Onion rings. This is my most disappointed accessory out of all of them because although I do think it's dry brushed pretty nicely and all of that, um, the sculpt, this red part, I mean, I understand what they were going for. Let me show you the box right here. You know, I think it would have worked well 
if the top part was a black plastic and this part was painted red, but that's asking for too much, you know? <laughs> I am, you know, I'm just disappointed that this does not look like shadows or anything like that. It would have worked well with a black plastic because it does have good scope. It's just the paint just makes it look all weird. I do not like that one bit. Over here, we got some chips. It's basic red plastic with a sticker on it. So it does the job. It got a little bit of like sculpt right there at the top, but that's that. Over here, we got some French fries and a sticker all around the holder of the French fries, but the French fries is horribly painted. And I look, guys, I looked for a set that had well painted fries. So you might want to have to touch this up because yeah, that just doesn't look right. Over here, we got one tray. And thankfully, this is painted pretty good. You know, a little, a little spot right there got missed, but all in all, I do like how that came out. Now we're gonna go through these burgers though, because these burgers are actually four accessories. First off, there's the box. One is chicken, one is a burger. If you guys wanna see how the top looks like, right here's the burger, right here's the chicken, right there, right there, nothing at the bottom. It does open and it does close, but be careful. I mean, the cardboard that's holding it and everything might break on you little by little as it's doing right there. But let's take these burgers out right now. Cause this over here is actually a little problem for me as well. First off is I like the size, like the size is great. The burger that came in the barbecue set was huge. But this for 112 scale figures is pretty dang accurate. And it does have a little bit of sculpt, some paint and not too bad. It did miss the mark, but it's not too bad, especially at a distance. The chicken one is a little different. I mean, check out the shape of the patty for the chicken. That's triangular. This one is circular. I do think that the top buns are different pieces. So. Yeah, it makes things easier and all of that. I will say that the chicken one is a bit nicely painted more than the burger. I do like it, guys. I wish it would have had sesame seeds on top, but it doesn't. It's just a plain old bun. Over here, we got a cookie. All right, let's go get that. Let's go get everything he's holding right now. We got a cookie. The cookie is basic plastic with a sticker on top nothing to write home about at the bottom there is nothing so whatever it's convincing over here we got some chicken nuggets and this is iffy <laughs> this is very iffy especially when it comes to that paint job yeah yeah at first i didn't even know what this was so I do not like that a little bit, but again, you can't really complain because it's only five bucks and gives you 20 pieces. The tray right here works wonderfully. No paint, no nothing. It is just basic plastic, three different compartments, able to fit a number of their foods and all that. Let's go to the stuff on the truck because over here we got a ketchup dispenser. Got some paint, actually, not a sticker. Plastic, gray plastic at the top. Paint again right here. Yeah, I don't think that's a stick. No, no, no. I'm, I'm confused, guys. It is indeed a sticker, but this time it looks like well adhesive. So it's pretty much in there, on there. So that looks okay. And gray plastic, but you're gonna need some paper cups for the ketchup. We got an empty one and we got one that's a little full with ketchup already. And I do like that they got that swirl pattern. Nicely painted too. So that's cool. Over here, we got two to-go boxes. Over here is the children one. It got some burger and fries at the side if you want to see that. Chicken nuggets, burger, fries, burger, fries, nothing at the bottom. Now. I will say that this one is possible for action figures to hold, so I do like it. But this rolls under the same problem that the guac and roll set had in our last episode. It is the same one, 
basically only a different logo says the same exact message too thank you have a great day but this time instead of a taco there's some burgers and fries when you close it up of course it does that but figures are not able to hold it i mean you saw it in the last episode guys because those little indent pieces are blocking the way so that's a bit disappointing anyway our final item will be this fried dough and at first i don't know what fried dough is guys but now i kind of see that it's like a pancake it's come sculpted on a plate and the paint on it is not too bad but now that we finished this set let's see what else we got and up next is the Teeny Tiny's 90s lunchbox. And I gotta say that for this part, this is gonna be one of those special episodes. The ones that you learn a life lesson. We got Cyclops right there slinging that candy to these 90s animated figures because they need something to keep them up at night to study for midterms. Now over here, we got the new kids in school with Spider-Man and Hulk just trying to fit in with their whole 90s getup, which is the showcase before getting into this set. I wanna say there's gonna be several showcases, guys. Also, if you're interested in the outfit, the locker room, or Mary Jane's jacket, I already went through them in a previous video, so I will put a link up for that. Now, if you did see that video, then you would remember that one of the stars was the Dollar Tree sneakers that fit Miles here oh so lovely. I got them right here in case you guys need a reminder. Now, I did see these sneakers over at Five Below and they come from the Glam Squad. And it's their streetwear, which brings some sunglasses, a jacket, some sneakers, fanny pack, a little hat, a shirt, and some pants. Not everything works for figures, but I was really hopeful with those sneakers. And at $3.25, not your typical $5 of five below, I decided to take the risk. And I'm glad I did because they fit just like the Dollar Tree ones. They got the slits in the back and everything. It's actually perfect for miles. And although they seem a little bit larger than the Dollar Tree ones, they're actually kind of not. They're actually kind of not. You could just attribute that to the style of the sneaker. These are more like Air Jordans and stuff. This is more like Vans. So I do like how they fit. I do like how they look. And it's good to have options. Now for the rest of the stuff, I did put on Hulk. Not all of it. But I did manage to put the shirt on. And it looks like a crop top. Your typical 90s style. I thought it fit the whole situation we got going on over here. And although the jacket didn't fit him, I did tie it around his waist because, hey, I used to wear that, you know? I used to wear stuff like that when I was a kid. Not the crop top, but the jacket around the waist, yeah, I thought it was cool. <laughs> the fanny pack actually fits Hulk in the last setting. And if you're wondering if it fits other figures, you need Marvel Legends cable and up if you want a good idea of what figures it could fit. It doesn't fit a Vulcan body, it just slides right off. And the glasses do look good on him, but again, they don't work for everybody. They work basically for Hulk and only in this kind of a setting. Now, that's why I'm showing several showcases, guys, because you might not like that one. Although I think it's pretty cool. You might think this etch and sketch is even cooler because it is from a company called World Smallest and they do several other nostalgic games and stuff that are tiny but not too tiny. And you would probably say, dang, they should have made it smaller. But the good thing about this is that it actually works. As you guys could see right there. So I do like it. I like nostalgic things like this. That's why I like this whole set and everything. And I had an etch sketch when I was younger. So let's just put this over to the side. And finally, our final showcase, is this basketball now this isn't from five below this is actually from dollar tree guys you know i feel like i'm showing five below way too much love and i wanted to show dollar tree a little bit of love it's just called sports balls and they actually bring six in a pack so you get six balls for a dollar 25 which isn't too bad and although it's called sports balls not everything is a sports ball they got two sports balls two emoji balls and two high-vis balls which 
I think is just, you know, dodgeballs. They are tennis table, you know, balls, basically, table tennis balls, whatever. And they're not 112 scale. They're very large, more in line with 110 scale or build a figure. Like, I think it works for Hulk, but for regular figures, it does not. This is more of a 112 scale basketball. And this is, yeah, you can see it's oversized. And this is from Five Below. Again, guys, watch that video if you're interested in stuff like this. But this one got sculpt. This one doesn't. However, this one got some more of a spalding design. This one doesn't. So, you know, depending on what you like, I'm showing you options and everything. Now that we went through all the showcases and stuff, let's get into the actual set. Starting off with what Jubilee got holding right here which is a cosmic brownie you know the the colors just reminded me of jubilee i thought she would have this it looks like a firework and i will say that this is one of the only accessories in the set that actually includes paint and the paint is actually pretty dang good applied so i'm not too mad with it it got some texture it got a nice look but that's that over here what mary jane is holding is the same as several of these things guys i said it a lot of things is just basic plastic with a sticker and over here we got these yogurt bites again basic plastic with the sticker not much to it by the way i put double-sided tape on both her and jubilee just because they don't got the best grip in hands but other figures are able to grip it it looks okay now let's go through all of these drinks that Jubilee got held in her locker. I want to say that all of this stuff, you know, even though it's labeled differently, they're obviously taking inspiration from real life items. Over here, we got a soda can. Woo soda. I'm thinking it's Sprite. This is a bit oversized though. Got some scope for the tab. Again, plastic with a sticker. If you want to take a look at that over here, this is supposed to imitate Sunny D. I mean, you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> or again, plastic with a sticker, but this time there is some red paint on top. If you want to take a look at that sticker. Up next, let's get these two right here. Obviously, this is a squeezable. I remember this as a kid and everything. Twist off the cap, squeeze, and all of that. But they're calling them squeezies for this. I like how it looks, at least the scope. And over here, we got a high seat. Basic plastic, sticker, and a little bit of paint for the straw, but super badly applied as is typical with teeny tinies. Now let's check out what Cyclops here is slanging. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got some bubble gum. Plastic with a sticker. I like the colors though. They do remind me of the 90s. We got an ice cream cup and this time there's two stickers. One to imitate the ice cream at the side and one for the label. Up next, we got a pudding cup. This one I'm not happy with at all. Again, plastic with the sticker, but this time the sticker is not even well applied. But whatever, it does the job. Right here, we actually got some cracker and cookie dips. And I remember those kangaroo ones, you know? So I do like that. I do like that everything in this set is nostalgic, but again, plastic with a sticker over here this one i'm a little upset about because i do like ring pops as a kid you know i did like them and again it's plastic with a sticker but i would have actually preferred a real ring pop for my figures but whatever what can you do you know over here we got some Cheez-Its, but this time it's called Bites. At first, I thought I was like, oh man, this is actually painted, but no. <laughs> no, it's just a sticker wrapped around plastic. 
but I do like the little details like the tear here and everything like that. Now right here we got some fruit bursts. I'm guessing they're supposed to be like gushers, you know, gushers candies. Plastic with a sticker. Orange plastic. Now, finally, we got something with paint. We got a Nola bar. And it does got a little bit of scope for the lettering. And surprisingly, the paint is pretty spot on. It's pretty dang good. I'm actually surprised that Teeny Tiny's managed to pull this off. This looks okay. I do like it quite a bit. Right here, we got two sour candies, one blueberry and one strawberry. Plastic with the sticker and the sticker is not well applied. The adhesive don't even stick onto the plastic. So that's a little bit upsetting. If you guys wanna take a closer look at what they say, there you go. And we all know that Lunchables and Lunch Lee are having that whole debacle and all that. So Teeny Tiny's decided to make their own. We got Crafted Cuisine and we got Pizza Pie and Pepperoni. I will say that it is slightly on the large side. So again, plastic with the sticker. Now finally, I'm gonna get into these two items because these actually upset me a little bit at first. Then I was kinda happy with it, but not really. We got a lunchbox and we got a thermos. At first I was like, dang, these are oversized, way too oversized for 112 scale. And they still are, you know? But I'm not too mad with the lunchbox because you can actually kind of fit all the accessories in it and you could have it just set off to the side and you know that this will be for your 90s accessories. So I kind of like this. It got the colors of 90s, you know, the squiggly lines, those triangles. That reminds me of Saved by the Bell. So I was happy, you know. At first I was mad, but then I was like, you know what? The whole to fake is the accessories and everything. But this one, I was hoping for the same thing as that lunchbox. But it isn't, guys. There is no cavity or anything to put accessories inside it. It does got the nice look and colors and all that. But what am I going to do with this? Other than set it in the background as a diorama piece this just looks funny this is way too large it's not a 112 scale thermos this isn't a 112 scale lunchbox but it's more forgiving rather than this i would have preferred you know a lunchbox or an actual 112 scale thermos so i will say that when teeny tiny's has a large item it's extremely large i mean check out my first part on this series if you're wondering what I'm talking about because the sashimi set also had that problem. Anyway, now that we're finished with everything over here, let's go to the final set that we got. And our final set of accessories is actually some brand stuff. Over here, we got Teeny Tiny's moving on up in the world with three different sets from brands that we are pretty familiar with, like Bazooka Joe, Ring Pop, Smarties, and Pez. Obviously, there's a lot to go through. So for the sake of time, I'm not gonna have a showcase for this part of the video. If you're interested in the tripod, I went through it in my last video. If you're interested in that cash register, I got it from Tim a long time ago. So I'm not even gonna talk about it or anything because we got Cameo and the little Armory Variant C figure opening up a candy shop ever since Lana right there left a scathing review to the sashimi restaurant and pretty much ran them out of business. I will go through each set from right to left, starting off with the Bazooka Joe and Ring Pop one. And first off, we got is something that Variant C was holding, which is two sticks of Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Now guys, I will say that a lot of this stuff is duplicates, so I won't go through every single thing. And I'll just skim through all the details and stuff. As you guys can see, it's a sticker on top of pink plastic let's put that right there let's move the variant c figure away and let's put this bazooka joe stand at the forefront all right up next we got these ring pop wrappers if you remember in the last segment 
I was pretty upset that they didn't include an actual ring pop. And it's basically the same thing with this branded stuff. There's no actual ring pop. It's just a sticker on top of plastic to simulate a ring pop wrapper. So I'm a little upset about that, but there are four of them. And sometimes the stickers are not nicely applied like the container right here. As you guys can see, the sticker is, yeah, not perfect, which is a problem with almost everything here. A lot of the things are just stickers on plastic, guys. Over here, we got a jar of Bazooka Joe Bubble, of a, sorry guys, I can't find my words, Bazooka Joe Bubble Gum. By the way, is it named Bazooka Joe? Because that's how I remembered it as a kid. But all of these stickers just say Bazooka. Bazooka Bubble Gum, right there, we got some nutritional facts. There is a sticker again on the plastic, sticker for the lid. There's two of these, as well as a container to hold them. 60 pieces, it does say bazooka right there, bazooka sugar free on the side. Again guys, I'm not gonna go through too much detail with them, because yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Over here we got some jumbo gum. Again, sticker on a plastic. It does, you know, look like there's multiple of them, but it's just a cube of plastic guys. We got a container for it though. And at least this one, the sticker is not awful. It looks okay. All right, and now finally for this set, we got the two things down here. First off, a tub of Bazooka Joe bubble gum. Sticker for the side and sticker for the lid because you can never have enough Bazooka Joe. And finally, we got a bag of ring pops. Let's put this back there. And I will say this about the sticker. The sticker, even though the adhesive is not great, it does make it look like it got wrinkles, making it look almost like a bag. So I'm not too mad on how the bags look. Everything else I'm a little upset with. Let's put these off to the side. And up next, we got Smarties. Now, Smarties, I will say that I do like something about it. Right there, here's the big Smarties. There's also a container for that. Smarties labeled right there. Stickers on plastic, guys, nothing different. But I do like these small things right here. Hold up, let me just take out one so you guys could see. It does have some sculpt. And the sticker for all of them is pretty nicely placed. So I'm not too mad. I don't know if you guys can make out what it says right there. But yeah, doesn't look too bad. There's six of them in total. So be careful, you know, because they're pretty small and everything. So be careful handling it. There's a container for them. It does say giant, but they're small guys. <laughs> don't trust that print. There we go. Up next, we got two big jars, and these are actually different. They're not the same sticker. One is original, the other one is the lollies pack. Even the nutritional facts is like different sizes, so. There is no stickers on the lids though, but whatever. And finally, for the Smarties, we got one bag. One bag of original Smarties, nutritional facts in the back. Again, the adhesive doesn't want to stick. So I keep having to like put it on a more firm, but whatever. And now we got three small bags of Smarties, different colors. We got a tropical right here with the blue. We got a lime, I think, no sour, with the green. And we got original with the red. All right, now we're heading to what I think is my favorite out of these three sets. Let's take this out right here, which is actually the Pez one. Why is it my favorite, you might ask? 
Well, first of all, it's the only set that has some paint on it. <laughs> some paint and some sculpt. Right here, we got a taco and we got a pizza. The paint is nicely applied, but I will say guys that it's not painted all the way around, which is a bummer because again, this is the only one that got some paint on it. So I would have preferred, you know, it be properly, properly painted, but it's not bad. And we also got a cheeseburger and an ice cream. So four Pez dispensers in total, two containers to contain them. Sticker on plastic, we're back at it again. <laughs> and again, guys, some of it is badly placed like this one right here is just horrible. All right. Now there's two different kinds of Pez, you know, candies. We got original and we got sour. I'm gonna go with the original first. Original just says Pez. It's just a Pez wrapper on top of plastic. Nothing special, no nutritional facts or anything like that. We got one red, another semi-red, one yellow, and one orange. Now for the sours, Oh, I dropped one down there. Let's see if we could get it. Yeah, there we go. The sours is only a little bit different than the regular. Now, of course, it does say sour. And there's a little bit more of a design on the wrapper. We got a pink one. A yellow one. And we got a blue one and a green one. There we go. Now the print and everything is legible, so I'll give them that. For this part right here, I actually don't know what this is, guys. Like it says blister card on the package, but it's basically one Pez original, one Pez sour. I just use them as plates. I don't know if you're supposed to use it as something else, but that's what I'm using it as. So there we go with that. And finally, the last stuff of Pez oops it's some refills nothing special again sticker on plastic does look okay is legible pez pez so there we go now all of them obviously share this display stand you know it's the same thing guys for all of them if you guys want to see how it's made you do got to set it up but it's fairly easy to do they show you how many holes got to be spaced in between five, six, five, which is basically what I did. Five, six, five, but you could put it shorter. You could put it higher. You know, you, you don't got to follow the directions on the package is basically what I'm saying. Now they are fairly easy to come off though. I will say that. So you might have to crazy glue it down. But the background and this part on top is basically the main difference on all of them. And you will have to tab it in there, which is the trickiest part on making these stands. But I do like how they look. They size pretty well with figures, but I'm a bit iffy about these sets because they are branded stuff, you know? I was expecting a little more quality, a little more paint, a little more sculpt. Instead, most of it, is just plastic with a sticker so there you have it guys those were all the accessories for this second episode which officially makes this the halfway mark in this series so if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button share it with a friend let me know in the comments which was your favorite but most importantly subscribe there is only two episodes left and I don't want you guys to miss out on what it is I'm about to show. Trust me, I saved the best for last.